So my name is Sylvia Caberia. I'm the founder of Kachi Found Digital and uh, eDigital Connect, which is a product of Africa Business Warriors. I grew up in Meru County in a small town called Maua. I went to school in Meru. Uh, I remember I went to a very rural primary school in Meru. And at the, I think when I go to class five, that is when my parents transferred me to a boarding school, which was a Catholic school. Um, you guys like should see my photos. I was a very little girl. I've been a petite girl from the beginning. And um, from there, I went to a high school in Meru. I did my um, KCSC, and um, now that is when I came to Nairobi. I came to Nairobi in 2011 to join university. That is when I joined Multimedia University of Kenya. I studied film production and uh, graduated in the year 2015. So, um, Apparently, um, growing up, I grew up with very tough parents because my parents were teachers. They are now retired teachers. And one thing, one thing that is outstanding about my parents, I was able to see them grow from poverty to riches, literally. I remember we were living in a very small house. And um, by the time I was finishing my class 8 KCP, my parents had actually um, moved out of uh, where we were living. We had gone to live in a better place, like uh, we had built a house. And I, I, I saw my dad uh, move from walking um, to buying a bike, to buying his first car, his second car, his third car. He's from a very poor uh, family. Actually, he got like educated by his um, elder siblings. One thing I know about my parents, I remember my dad is one person who is very consistent with whatever he does. And um, he has this, um, he started out with these small, small businesses. We had a shop, which we have even at this point. Um, my mom is the shopkeeper now because now she's retired and she actually needed something to do with her, her life. You know, life goes on after retirement. So um, my parents are, are just consistent people. They are so strict on uh, money. They they, uh, they save their money. They invest their money whenever there is an opportunity. Uh, actually, my parents do a lot of farming. In Meru, we have a lot of land that my, my dad has bought over time. And we've invested in real estate where we have rentals in Meru and different towns in Meru. So um, I think I was born in, into a family that is into business. and. Um, Yes, that is, that is, I think that is what made me to become who I am today. It's, it's my parents, it's, it's they, I grew up knowing that uh, we need to work hard, we need to believe in God and we need to be disciplined. So I left, I, I graduated in 2015. Uh, one thing, I, I didn't really look for a media job and I have a, a media background. The only media experience that I got was uh, working as an intern at um, uh, K KBC, yes, that was KBC. But since then, uh, since the time I, I left university, I went into other things. I My first job was, um, I was a receptionist for an interior decor firm, uh, company. I worked there for a short while, but that is not what I really wanted to do, because I'm a person who believes in doing more, and I believe that there's always more to more than what we, we can see and what we've done at a particular point in life. So I left the, the receptionist job and uh, found another job at Jami Telecommunications. That is where I worked as an account manager stroke a salesperson. So that is where my marketing career began. I, I worked at Jami Telecom for two years, um, which was a, a learning phase for me. And that is when I discovered that, oh wow, I'm, I'm so interested in marketing and uh, branding and uh, this is something that I really want to do. Because you see, um, when you leave campus, you don't always know what you want to do. But I remember even back in campus, I, I was an entrepreneur because um, I had a modeling agency. Actually, my first company was a modeling agency, uh, which I started I was, uh, out as a model. 
I modeled for for some time then I was like okay there's so many people who want to learn this thing they want to become models they want to make money out of the fashion industry so I brought together um, the, the, the that time the Mr. University I spoke uh, to him and we started a company it was called Campus Models our work was to recruit models from various camp, um, universities and we would train them on modeling, we would train them on fashion tips and then we would get them uh, gigs from different fashion houses and um, fashion shows and that is now where I began in entrepreneurship. And then still in campus I, I started developing an interest in makeup artistry. I became a makeup artist. Uh, did a lot of actually I did around uh, 20 uh, weddings um, makeup bridal makeup so that is something that I did for a while but now when I got into marketing I was very sure this is what I want to do so I, I like, totally forgot about the past and now moved on with marketing so my marketing career went on uh, from Jami Telecom. From Jami Telecom, I joined the real estate um, uh, sector as a marketer. But this time around, because now companies were starting to embrace uh, digital marketing and uh, the, the physical old uh, marketing methods were being like people are forgetting about them and now starting to embrace uh, new technology and digital marketing. So in the real estate sector, I became a social media manager for a company uh, that uh, the company was based in Kilimani and uh, my work was to build uh, strategies for them to be able to sell their properties. I worked there for a while, but I was working under another digital team that was there for a while before I came in, so I got to learn a lot. And I met this uh, very passionate graphic designer who taught me graphic design. So what I would tell people is that you don't really need to have money to learn. You, you can actually approach people who have been there before because knowledge is everywhere. People have knowledge. Um, every person that you meet, you might be very surprised that this person knows something that you don't know. So for me, um, that is now where I started um, uh, learning, gaining knowledge on digital marketing. I worked um, until um, I think that was the year 2018. That is when now I, I decided let me just uh, do this on my own because one thing I know about myself, I am a very um, ambitious person. I'm, I'm a person who is not easy to put in a box. So like working in the corporate was like putting me in a box. And I thought, uh, why not get a team of social media marketers like me, graphic designer, and we start out working remotely for different companies. So uh, that is how my, my first digital marketing company was born. That is uh, uh, Golden Feather Marketing. So Golden Feather Marketing, was actually born uh, before I left the real estate um, sector, but now we were doing it as a part-time thing. We would approach companies, uh, design social media marketing strategies for them, offer graphic design services. And uh, I, when I left my work, I decided let me just do this from home, uh, work remotely. Partnerships, they're like relationships, they're like uh, dating. You, you don't, um, it's not every relationship that works for you. You might meet a person, you think this is the ideal person for you, but you come to realize, oh wow, we can't actually work out. So my partnership, because it was a, a limited company and uh, two directors, my other director, we just split. I, uh, I do not want to badmouth anyone, but we, yeah it and we decided let's go on our different ways. So for a while I laid back and um, thought oh wow now I need to look for a job which is the, uh, the, the actually the thing that most uh, youth that are getting into entrepreneurship in Africa do when business doesn't work out you look for a nine to five job. So I looked for a job 
and I got a job at Cedian Bank. So that is where I worked as a digital marketing strategist. I was the digital and brand officer for the bank in 2019. And along the way, God blessed me with a son. So I became a mom and I thought, oh wow, why, why don't you, why don't I just um, go back to entrepreneurship because that way I'm able to work from home and take care of my son. And I remember when I left for my maternity leave, I, I, I didn't know, I wasn't really sure if I, would, I was going to go back to work or do business. And now you remember, I, 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 at some point I was planning to go back, but Corona happened. So when Corona happened, I was like, now this is the time for me to launch out in full like power and do everything that I want to do. So that is when Kachi Found Digital was born. Kachi Found Digital has actually, it's, we've been uh, barely two years, but we've been able to actually uh, come up with digital marketing strategies for over 50 companies. By now, we got an office at Mothega, Melrose Gardens. That is where we are based even now. And um, our work is usually to come up with uh, digital marketing strategies and uh, digital PR strategies for companies, for SMEs. We majorly focus on SMEs. And uh, yeah, we develop strategies. And our happiest moments are usually when we see a strategy that we developed to work for a brand. Because um, one thing about um, African, the reason why African businesses are failing at the startup level is usually majorly because of poor marketing. Marketing is everything for a brand. And if you do not have the right strategy, especially digital, because now everyone is moving to digital, you end up um, getting out of business. You, you, you run, it's like you're running backwards. So our work is to make sure that you don't encounter that as a brand. And we make sure that when, when we develop a strategy, we make sure that we have spent our time and knowledge on it so that you are able to to use it and grow your business out of it. So, and then um, I realized that um, when I started entrepreneurship, um, there were challenges. There were so many challenges that we were facing. And um, one of the challenges was um, at the starting phase, there are so many things, there are so many actually young people in Africa that want to do business. They, are, they have the passion, they have the skill, but they don't have the money. And if they have the money, they don't have anyone to tell them, this is how you run a business. So um, at some point I was like, I don't want, I don't, this is Africa. I'm one person who is very passionate about change and uh, positivity and growth. So I realized that um, there are so many people, uh, even my own friends, who are really suffering at the startup uh, point. And you realize you might notice a business has been running for three years, but it's still a startup, right? It's not been able to like move like off, get off its feet. Why? Because um, um, lack of money and also lack of mentorship. So I, I wanted to really help because I'm one person who likes impacting lives. Like uh, when I meet you, I want, by the time we you leave, I go my way, you go your way, you are a better person. Either through a conversation that we will have or maybe a business deal that we will do. So I sat down, did my research, and I said, now I'm ready for my second company. So that is when Africa Business Warriors was born. Africa Business Warriors is a company that empowers African businesses so that they are able to compete on a global level. So how? Uh, this is how we work. We gather African um, startups, we mentor them, we, we, we have different mentors, top mentors in Africa 
and uh, what we do is we empower um, the startups or the entrepreneurs who are beginning we mentor them we show them the right way this is how you do this is how you handle your finances this is how you do your structuring uh, because um, most businesses uh, cannot afford bookkeeping services for example you cannot afford if you're starting off maybe you cannot afford to have an accountant how do you do your bookkeeping so we offer financial consultancy services entrepreneurship mentorship and um, like we help you gather your your creativity gather your business idea and grow it uh, so that is where eDigital Connect was born. eDigital Connect is actually, I, I won't say it's a women business, but uh, actually I partnered with a, a very, um, a, a company that was founded by a very ambitious lady. The company is Upotech. Uh, what they do is they offer uh, software development services and digital solutions for grants. So eDigital Connect is a platform where we bring together uh, 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 people in business, especially women in technology and digital marketing. And this is now, uh, these people come together, empower each other, and uh, we share our sources of information and how we run our businesses and we are able to network and share referrals with one another. So uh, this year we have one of our highest highlights which is Africa eDigital Connect Summit. It's happening on the 8th of July at the Panari Hotel in Nairobi. We are actually we've gathered top-notch uh, speakers. These are experts in digital marketing and technology to come and discuss on how digital marketing and technology is affecting businesses in Africa. So as a woman, as a, as a daughter, as a mother, and as, as a single mom for that uh, fact, I have come to realize that you get what you ask for. When you want something, ask for it. By asking for it, I mean step out there, meet the people that have what you have, because everything you need is here, it's with people talk to people, ask for help, I mean, ask for business. If you, if you want to offer service to a certain company, step out, go and do it. To me, uh, success is um, being able to effectively do something that you're passionate about. As for me, I'm passionate about uh, change and growth. Being able to do that successfully and go back to bed at the end of the day and I'm happy and satisfied and I'm at peace with myself, that is success to me. For me, um, uh, purpose, uh, okay, for example, when I, I reach out to people and I'm able to help them with uh, brand strategies, because uh, at the end of the day, my, my work is to impact other people's lives. So when I'm able to help your brand in one way or the other, for me, that is living my purpose. I'm passionate about um, encouraging people, especially women like me. And um, if you are a woman out there, you are starting out your business, you don't know where to go, you can actually come to us at Africa Business Warriors. We will empower you, we will encourage you, and we will get you the resources that you need. You know, one thing that people don't tell you is you can do everything on your own. You have to gather people to, to help you achieve your dreams. Like uh, for my businesses, right now, uh, Kachi Found is going on as usual. The other business is going on as, as usual. Why? Because we have a team. Always, uh, when you're starting out, you don't have to have the money to hire a team. Just get a team together. Uh, uh, ensure that everyone in the team knows uh, the goal that you have and the vision that you have. And now come up with a plan on how to achieve it together as a team. Yes. And uh, as for motherhood, I actually I wake up every day and I remind myself that I'm a mom. I've got to be a mom before I become an entrepreneur. I've got to be a mom before I become a boss. So um, for me, uh, every day when I wake up, the first thing that I do, um, apart from yes, I wake up, pray, and take my breakfast, but the first thing that I do before I get um, uh, out and uh, into my day and run my errands, I, I usually make sure that my son is well taken care of. He has everything that he needs. And um, if I, I always make it possible for the person that is uh, taking care of my son to reach out to me even during the day when I'm in the meeting. If I'm in the meeting and uh, I get a call from my nanny, 
I have to go out and pick up that call because at the end of the day I'm a mom and I have to be a mom I have to run my business and everything has to be successful you can't let one baby uh, fail while the other one is succeeding for me business is my baby my son is my baby all the businesses that I have done we've, been, we've actually been able to achieve so much in terms of empowering other African entrepreneurs and also being able to see brands grow out of what we've worked on we've also been able to uh, be able to mentor different uh, businesses most of them which are female owned businesses because I have a passion in me I have it in me to help other women because um one thing I would tell uh, uh, any other person, a woman that is out there and you want to do business, you want to uh, chase your dream, success does not happen overnight. It doesn't just happen. You have to wake up, you have to work really hard and sometimes that means walking through the fire to achieve what you deserve. It is now living your purpose and you can't uh, just sit down and wait for tomorrow you have to start where you are with what you have and if you need people like us to encourage you people who have been through uh, what you are going through people who have um, ambitions big ambitions don't don't um, underestimate yourself you will be very surprised if you wake up today do as much as you can for today wake up tomorrow do as much as you can to, for tomorrow every day face every day with the best version of yourself it doesn't matter what you have. What you have is what you can use. If you don't have to have so much to begin. Just uh, if, if you need mentorship, uh, look for the right people. At, at Africa Business Warriors, we are open. Our doors are open. At eDigital Connect, our doors are open. At Upotech, our doors are open. Even at Kachi Found, our doors are open. We are ready to mentor you. We are ready to work with you through the same path. Because one thing I know is... Um, People are willing to share knowledge and advice. People are not willing to give you money easily, but they are able to give you more than money. That is wisdom, knowledge, and advice. Yes. Uh, you can also find us on social media at eDigital Connect on all our social media platforms and um, www.edigitalconnectafrica.com.